today if we have already one of our pilots flying over Pakistan or uh, the Middle East, Iraq, whatever, uh, if they have any pan uh, or any, any problem, any panic in the, uh, in the device or the equipment, uh, for sure he's going to be able to self-destroy uh, the equipment. But also on another hand, he's going to be able to inform uh, to his cameras, right, that uh, he is already in trouble and to try to send somebody to rescue him, right? I'm sure. How is going to be if we're talking about an extraterrestrial pilot coming so far away from space to this planet, not too friendly, and having already a problem with the, the spaceship? Nobody will be come to rescue this guy, so he's going to be absolutely alone here like itself, and that's it. Nobody's going to take care of the problem here. Can you imagine a society capable of travel through the space-time continuum, vanish in front of your eyes, do all this kind of stuff? Do you think they are going to live somewhere alive in the middle of us, among us, so friendly people? And also, having already this poor fellow in the government hands, are you believing that somebody with this such incredible technology will be able so, my God, so helpless this way here in the middle of us, and nobody is going to do absolutely nothing? I don't think so. I don't think so at all. And this is exactly the myth. The myth that we have it. We have already here. We're taking already information from them. We're doing some special agreements. Some incredible technology we already developed is because they're giving already here this knowledge. Why? Because we're trading them. Yeah. Excuse me. They can play with time if they want to. So do you think this kind of guys, they're going to come into our hands because they're helpless? There's nothing else they can do? And nobody in their planet, they even care about these guys? No. Please. It's too childish thing that way. These guys, for sure, they're going to exhaust whatever kind of resources is possible to have the crew members back. Absolutely. Here in our planet, the way we are, totally helpless this way? Never. Never at all. Thanks. So, contacts, let's go, abductions, we have the cattle intelligence. Extraterrestrials, they need meat, right? They want to have a beef, a barbecue, already inside of the UFO. So they need to come here, look for the best cattle as possible, take it, cut it, select it very well, and they're going to have a barbecue, a cosmic barbecue. <laughs> Wonderful. So, do this guy need to do such a thing? Next one. So imagine extraterrestrials coming here, leaving already this stupid thing, going over there, and giving back. If you speak with the farmers already who had already the cattle with this kind of problem, they're going to tell you, no extraterrestrials at all. We saw chapters. We saw people coming. We found human devices already here and there. There's no extraterrestrials involved at all. They don't need beef. <laughs> they don't like beef. So don't worry about it.